Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial we will be talking about phytochromes and a little bit about the photoperiodism associated with <coughs> the pigment called phytochrome. So phytochromes is definitely it's a, a type of pigment or photopigment rather we can say it's a photopigment. Now what do we mean by photopigment is they can uh, sense photo so they are photosensitive in nature they are photo sensitive in nature so they are photopigment that means they are photosensitive so this is the pigment when when light hit onto this pigment when light hits onto the pigment it usually changes its conformation from one particular side to another right so it witness through a conformational shift upon hitting the light Okay, so we can see here, in case of the phytochrome, it is uh, definitely a protein, first of all. It is a protein molecule. Not, uh, yeah, it's kind of protein molecule having some certain structure, pyrrole rings. It's a tetrapyrrole, tetrapyrrole ring having this structure. Okay, now this particular molecule, they are usually <coughs> dimer. They are in dimer form. Usually they are synthesized monomer. So when two monomers are added with each other, they form a dimer. Okay, and that dimer is acting as the photosensitive or chemoreactive molecule. Now the importance of phytochromes in plant is that this particular pigment, it usually when you look at this pigment with our bare eye, it looks like a blue. Okay, but it can change its conformation depending upon the wavelength of light that is hitting onto it. Okay, and as it is changing in structure depending upon the wavelength of light, it is converted from a non-active form to more active. We can't say non-empty, it is less active form to a more active or hyperactive form. Now, when it is shifted towards the hyperactive form, all of the major chemical processes of plant body start to occur. Okay, just like uh, us, in case of us, when we go to sleep at night, all of the rest of our metabolic pathways and everything is going to be just slow down a little bit. It's not stopped, but slow down a little bit. We become less active in that particular time. But again, when morning and we wake up, and all of this process start to thrive up again pretty, pretty quickly and pretty. It starts bringing that thing, right? So that means we are waking up. But in case of plants, we know that they are also living, right? So they can sleep virtually or literally they can sleep in the way that we can see using the phytochrome like molecules. So when the phytochrome at night is in non-reactive form or less reactive form, all, uh, they are pretending they're, they're like sleeping. But at the morning when they receive a different type of wavelength of light which is hitting onto it and then it's becoming super active or hyperactive, then the plants start to walk again. It start to uh, waking up, right? So that is the uh, analogy that we can draw using phytochromes. Now the type of <coughs> phytochrome we usually know, which is the basic form of phytochrome which is synthesized, is termed as PR. It's called PR. And the type of phytochrome which is hyperactive or more active is called PFR. These are the two form of phytochromes that we can see. <coughs> now one type of form of phytochrome that we can see so it can transfer from the structure PR to PFR. It can also come back from the structure PFR to PR. So this thing is very very important. This structural change is very very important because this determines whether the plant is to act properly, whether the plant is to sleep. When the plant is acting properly, that means all the necessary pathways are going on pretty fast, pretty quickly. Uh, photosynthesis is going on, and let's say flowering is going on, and many things, many things associated for active purpose of the plant is going on pretty fast but when it is in PR form processes are slow now when it, they are at PR form they usually receives wavelength at red red zone or the wavelength of 670 nanometer for example this is kind of red light I can say it's a red light so you get this red light converted to or shifted towards the PFR structure right and after that <coughs> During this time, and which is the time? The time is in this particular case is the daytime, right? So in the daytime, this particular thing happens. The shift from PR to PFR, getting the red light. But then, 
when when they at the night time they are receiving that temperature called that particular wavelength called say let's say uh, 730 let me write it here 730 nanometer and this is far red zone and then they shift back towards the pr structural form and this is the particular time at night so we can see at the day time they are converted to pfr or cytochrome far red that's why f is there far red uh, particular construction now this is the particular form pfr which is you know active right it brings response response associated with many physiological activity of the plant it depends on uh, flowering it reflects on many other criteria so that's why we can see depend upon uh, the wavelength the plant is getting and depend upon uh, the time duration at the daytime and the light it is getting it shifts uh, its response from one to another okay and when they are at pr form they are not active that much so the rest of the process are kind of repressed so there is no response here no response usually seen in case of this when they are at pr form so for getting the response we must have them to be converted into pfr from from pr form okay then they are active and they are produce response and this response can be visualized and one such example of the response is let me write flowering flowering of the plant okay so this is a kind of way how it is constructed so that's why these particular phytochrome molecules are important to be present in plant uh, body or plant cells for helping the plant to establish the particular routine or what we call a circadian rhythm circadian rhythm that we can see in our case it's a body clock of plants when to active more when to be less active and depend upon the wavelength of light that is hitting because for the plants light is all, all source of energy right so depends upon that particular thing they can shift and that's why phytochromes are important and depending upon the different type of activity like the flowering we can divide into different type of flowering plants we are having a separate video on this flowering methods like long day plant short day plants and so on okay so that's kind of it and i hope that's helpful thank you